My clock says it is 4 p.m. That means it is time to FaceTime with the Pride, presented by Body Armor. How's everyone doing today? I'm Duda Pavão. I'll be hosting the FaceTime with the Pride here straight from Explorer Stadium. A beautiful stadium, it's a beautiful Friday. So thank you everyone for joining us today before you head over to your happy hour. Uh, let's see, I'll, I'll give you a couple minutes so we can wait for everyone to join. Everyone to join. We have super, a special guest today that I think she's already here. Let's see. How's everyone doing today? Where's everyone tuning in from? I want to know. I'm at Explorer Stadium. Hi, Scott. Hi, Brianna. How are we doing? Hello, hello. All right. Let's get the show started. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Today, we are going to be joined by Orlando Pride defender Phoebe McLaren, who has been an important piece on our back line. And we thought this would be a great opportunity for everyone to learn a little bit more about Phoebe. She's brand new to the league, and she's been impressing a lot of people. Hi, Eric. I see you there. Brittany, how's everyone doing? All right, Phoebe, I'm gonna bring you in. I hope you're ready. Let's do it. Let's see. Let's bring Phoebe in. Connecting. Oh, I'm ready, baby, let's go. You're always ready, Phoebe, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you so much for joining us today. I got this beautiful view with my body armor here we got to plug it look at this have to <laughs> Phoebe thank you so much for joining us today um we got a lot of questions for you mm. yes so I was able to select a couple of them but before before we go over that I want to know how is Orlando treating you Phoebe it's treating me so well <laughs> I'm loving it baby happy to be back in the U.S. um I love yeah. this team I love the fans. Uh, in our last game, I remember I was tracking back on a run, and I got to, like, the end line before the play was dead. And there were, like, six fans that were just like, yeah, Phoebe. I was like, I didn't even do anything on that play. So that was great. <laughs> That's awesome, Phoebe. You mentioned that you, you, you were overseas, right? You were in, uh, in Sweden. How was that experience for you? It was great. Um, Sweden didn't really have a lockdown, so uh -huh. we got to get over there and play and um, – it was it was weird because everybody here was very much so locked down. Yeah. So, um, but it was really fun. I had a really good time. Learned a lot. Now that did you learn any Swedish while you're there? No. Okay. They all speak English, so like I didn't have to. And I feel like if you don't have to, it's hard to motivate yourself to do it. But I try. I, I learned a couple words. If you if you if you need to, uh, to speak any Swedish, you just gotta talk to Martin and Ali. They got you covered. It's They're insane. So over my head. I can't. It's insane. <laughs> They'll be uh, talking and I won't even catch one word. It's super hard. But now, but now that you're now in Orlando, um, have you done anything that you enjoyed around the city? Um, I tried Domo. It's so good. It's, it's just everything. Um, you, go ahead. You better tell me that you tried the cookie soup by, by Domo. I didn't. You know what I'm talking about, right? I don't know what the cookie soup is. Gideon's? We're just going to drop the name. Oh, oh, yes. I okay. thought you said cookie soup. Oh, no, no, no. I was like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> no, the cookies are so good. Yeah. Too good. Amazing. Uh, Phoebe, let's see. Well, there was a lot of people that you still fresh the league, right? You just pretty much started with us. A lot of people don't know about you yet. They obviously know about uh, the amazing player that you have been on the field, which we love. But who is Phoebe McLaren and how, what is your soccer, what's your soccer story? Um, so I'm the youngest of five children. My oldest sister, Farrell, played soccer. So when I was little, I just idolized her. I would go to all her games and um, she was so cool. She still is. Fair, if you're on here, love you, girl. <laughs> um, and my two closest siblings in age were my brothers. So I think they instilled in me some tenacity, and some bite. Um, and I uh, started playing club. And then 
my coach on my first club team was telling me that I'm too aggressive and I'm going to lose that aspect of myself if I keep playing with the girls. So he recommended that I go play with the boys, which I did for, I think, four or five years. Mm -hmm. And that was awesome. I had so much fun. Um, and then I went back to the girls and played up a year for pretty much the remainder of my club career. And then I went to UVA, which is probably where I experienced like the most growth in my life, I guess until now, maybe. Um, and it was an awesome experience, awesome coach, awesome players. It was a really, really good program. Um, and then I got drafted. Things went awry. I went <laughs> to Sweden and now I'm back. <laughs> Then at UVA, you play with Courtney, too. So how has it been uh, playing with Courtney there at UVA and now with the Pride? Did she tell you um, anything about the Pride before? How was it? Um, yeah, I mean, like, obviously, we didn't know that we were both getting drafted right. to the Pride. Um, so it was such a nice little surprise to find that out. Um, she went before me, obviously. And then when I got drafted, I texted her right away. I was like, oh, my God. And it was so <laughs> exciting. We just have a really good relationship on and off the field. So it was nice coming into a new environment and having her as like a touchstone, but like just feedback off of and everything. For sure. And now um, going back to playing with the boys for, for such a long time, um, how much do you think that pushed you or made you like um, improved your game maybe? Because it is a different speed, but it's how, how, was it beneficial for you? What do you think? Yeah, I mean – I think if anything, it taught me just like not to back down to anybody just because yeah. of who they are. Like just because they were boys, I was bigger and stronger and faster than all of them. You can be, you can be there. bigger and stronger and faster. You have all yeah. be more ag aggressive than anyone. That's it. Yeah. And that was the case. I remember my tryout. We uh, had tryouts at an indoor facility, and it was like a. It was also like almost like a hockey rink, so it had boards all around it. And, like, the most gentle, giant, sweet human ever. His name was Jordan Ambrose. He was so kind. Like, genuinely the most kind soul ever. I just shouldered him into, into one of the boards in, on, like, my first defensive play. And they were like, okay, you can join the team. <laughs> and then after that, you went to college? So that was so – you you played with the boys until your senior year? In no, no. Oh. I think I stopped playing with the boys when I was in eighth grade. Oh, okay. So, like, going into my freshman year. And how was the, the transition between, um, sorry, from uh, playing in college to now playing the NWSL? I think it's what everybody says it is. It's faster, it's stronger, it's better technically. It's, um, it is that next level. And the depth coming off the bench is insane. I don't think that's always present in college. But you have, like, in our last game, uh, who were their forwards that came in? Uh, Morgan Weaver and So Smith were the ones coming off the bench. I was like, okay. Um, yeah. All right. Doesn't get any easier from here. It's like you have two starting lineups, right, and yeah. on one team. Yeah, it's absurd. For sure. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's start with the questions now. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do Oh, Martha joined the chat, too. Welcome, oh, Martha. Martha. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. First question is from Orlando Pride Brazil, Phoebe. Do you have any rituals before or after you play? Not at all. I mean, it's kind of whatever I'm feeling. I don't know. We Since we're on the road a lot and stuff, like, I don't try and really, like, get stuck on too many rituals because then I feel like if they get messed up, I would not be okay when that happens. So uh -huh. I try and keep my routine flowing and just go with whatever my body's asking for. Where is Courtney right now? I hope she's listening. <laughs> Do you know her, right? <laughs> she's got a couple of routines. How was it? Okay, can you tell everyone about her rituals a little bit? And if she's here, Courtney, let us know if you're here. But uh, can you tell us about that? Sure can. She has an orange Gatorade before every game. It has to be orange, can't be sugar free. It has to be just classic orange Gatorade. Um, core water. She has to have a core water. That's one of the one of the keys to court success. I'm sure she has more that she like just keeps in her mind that she doesn't tell anybody about. But those are the two big ones that stand out. I remember in college, she didn't have her Gatorade. And we had to, like, find a store around us to go get it because nobody had packed one either. And it was it could have been devastating. Listen, yep. if that helps her to keep playing, that yeah. soccer, girl, you do whatever, whatever you Whatever you got to do. I, whatever no you need. Here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's water. That, at least you can get that anywhere. Yeah. So. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. 
so she'll be able to play anywhere, fans. Don't, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll yeah, get you the home. orange. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Phoebe. Next question uh, from Meg17230. Who on the team has been your biggest mentor and helped you to adjust to the league the most? That's so hard. We have so many good mentors on this team. Um, I mean, like, so much national team talent from, like, a bunch of countries. They're all so good. Um, obviously, I probably played it next to uh, Allie Krieger the most. Um, and she's just really good at keeping me disciplined and, like, holding me accountable. And I, I need that for sure. I think in the times where, I, like, I do mess up, it's normally – can be credited to the fact that I'm not being disciplined enough and I'm just flying out or something. Mm -hmm. um, so she's been huge. Ash has been huge. Um, Aaron McLeod is amazing. Marta is amazing. I remember the first time Marta pulled me aside and like gave me tips. I was like, this is real. Like, is this actually happening? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, they're all amazing. Ali Riley, Gunny, mm -hmm. Alex, even Sid, they're like in a bunch of different ways. It's not always just about like, how my like defensive posture yeah. is or something it's there's so much and they all contribute it's 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 pretty much impossible to pick one when you have such amazing yeah. experienced players and on yeah. just one team and so many experienced play players who are willing to take the time out to really invest in you and, and i think that's like that's special that i don't necessarily know that i've had on any other other team is there something specific that you learned from um one of them they like stuck your mind like huh that, that that's true like, I don't know if it's something that I learned but I remember before our first um scrimmage in this past preseason um I was starting and Krieger came up to me and she's like you deserve to be out there just play your game like you you make right decisions just trust your instincts and it's always just really um good to have that to fall back on because at the end of the day it's just you you're you're out there you're doing your thing and if you don't believe in yourself it's gonna be a really long game yeah so. and you deserve if you're here it's because you deserve it so you just got to play your game it's soccer yeah it's soccer uh awesome thanks Phoebe what song next question what song gets you into the game day mood so hard um well so I have a playlist huh. and it's Primarily, like, old Kanye. Old Kanye, like, graduation album really does it for me. I could just listen to it on repeat. Um, there's that newer song, Astronaut in the Ocean, I, I think it is. Yes. Which, by like the way, song. that's your, our walkout yeah. song here. I yeah. think everyone gets hyped when they play it on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that gets me going. It's, so old Kanye. Is that, your, is that your favorite artist then? Kanye? Kanye? Yeah. No. Not necessarily. Um, I'm like an oldie with music. I only really listen to like rap and R&B when um, pregame. But if I'm like in my car driving around, I listen to old music. <laughs> all right, all right, classic, a classic. All right, let's see. Next question, Phoebe. It is from uh, at Vini underscore NY. What has been your most embarrassing moment during a game? I feel like. I feel like oh, every player has one. Like this year? No, from any any time. In life. Yeah, in life. Whole Your so whole life. Be, we'll we'll take the we'll game? take the most we we'll take the worst one, the most embarrassing one. All right, so it's not soccer, but it was a game. I was okay, playing softball for my first year, and I was on first base. I got a hit. Let's go. I'm like the least hand-eye coordinated person ever, so that was real. I, I was just patting myself on the back but I had to pee really bad. And I didn't want to get off base because I was like, I can't get off base. So I peed my pants. I'm not kidding. And I was too old to be doing it. Like I wasn't super old, but like too old to be doing that. And I just started sobbing and ran off the field anyway. I was like, this was pointless. I should have just ran to the bathroom in the first place. And then my dad had to like take me over to the mall, get me a new pair of pants. And he was huge on never like walking away from your commitments uh -huh. so he's like get, get back out there i was like i just peed my pants on base i can never go back maybe but, that happens and if you ask me that's not such a like yeah it's all right it happens you know sometimes it's nature right <laughs> i have no excuse for it. i don't know it was bad <laughs> that's funny though that's funny at least you got over that you know already happened it happens again you never know like, nope <laughs> 
<laughs> I think I'm good going forward <laughs> on peeing your pants on the field. It's already <laughs> done. It's not going to happen. It's already done. Yeah. It's already done. Uh, let, next, next question from uh, Bev Francis. Uh, which three Pride teammates? This one, I want to know. Because I think I'll probably pick you if I had to pick Thanks. one of three. Would you pick to back you up in a bar fight and why? I think the goalies. I think I'd go Ash, Aaron, and um, Britt. Because they definitely throw the most weight in the gym. Like, I think they'd have, like, the most stature. <laughs> like, uh -huh, they'd really uh -huh. be able to bring in some muscle power. And then they're also all really cognitive. Like, they'd be able to think through the situation really well. Aaron would be able to diffuse it in, like, a hot second. She was just <laughs> – I feel like she, she should be a crisis manager on the side. Um <laughs> And, like, Britt is just so sweet. I feel like she would also be a good diffuser. But, like, if things turn from bad to worse, I know Ash would be just throw she, will, oh, she will get it. Yeah. Good. Well, yeah, so now you my know. GK union behind me when I walk into the club. Now you know if you ever need it. You already know who you're going to pick. You already yeah. know who you're going to pick. We got one that is not a question. Box. We got one that is not a question from at and hello. Not a question, but keep going. You are doing great. Phoebe, everyone is very impressed about all of your performances. Um, they're finally getting to see, right, who's Phoebe on the pitch. Brand new player. What, what has been one of the moments that you can now look back from the games that you're super proud of? It's like, you know what? This is, this is good. I feel good here. That's so hard. I don't. I'm, I feel like I'm giving generic answers, but, like, I feel like the whole team is so team-oriented right now that, like, no individual play necessarily sticks out. I, like, if, when I think of plays that stick out, I normally think of negative ones, to be honest, not positive ones. So it's a little hard. Maybe uh, my slide tackle against Jess McDonald in the NC Courage game, the last one. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. I mean, it's just going up against these, like, world-class forwards, and I'm just like, this, they're just so much better than anybody I've ever played. <laughs> <laughs> and just being able to hold my own, it's cool. Yes, of course, and you're going against them, and you're beating them, and you, yeah, getting the dub yeah. against most of them. So let's keep, let's keep oh, rolling I had to Sunday. Duh, that was cool. The what? See, that's what I mean. I didn't even think about it. I had an assist. Uh, that was the cool. That was it. Duh, done. Next I question. mean, then an assist, they're like, uh Kind of okay pass, if you ask me, you know? Like, not perfect at all to Alex Mooring finish one time. That was right. That was wild. <laughs> that was amazing, baby. Did you see that happening? Like, how – can you describe that play even? Or is it just, like, a blank now? Uh, well, I, I remember after I played the ball and she finished it, and then the defender was almost there to get it off the line, and then it went in. I almost, like, fell over on the half line. <laughs> like, I wish there was more footage of that because I literally, like, am stumbling, like, falling down. Like, this didn't just happen. I'm so tired, too. And it, was, <laughs> it was very surreal. But, no, I can't tell you what, what I was thinking when I played it. But, well, congratulations on your first assist. That was amazing. Uh, we have one more question from Egg Gunny. Who is your favorite Icelander? Yours. Gunny. She's my only one. Oh. <laughs> Gunny, you're the only one, but you're still the favorite. That's all that matters. We're also kind of from the same area. In case That's a little fun fact. She oh. spent, I don't know how long it was, she said. I want to say it was like five years, though. She was living like 20 or 30 minutes away from me. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Because her mom was working at a children's hospital in Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So they were like right in my area. That is super cool. That's awesome. Look yeah. at you now. Both of you in Orlando. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day I'll be in Iceland. I told her the other day, we're going to start a bakery in Iceland. Uh, I'll, I'll go there just to eat. Okay. There it is. <laughs> All right. We're good. We're Vivi, before we finish this, um, how is the team now going to into Sunday's match? It's We're pumped. We got momentum, baby. Let's go. We just got to keep rolling. We yeah. got to keep going. Yeah, I think, like, the biggest positive about the last couple of games, like, even though we've gotten results, we have so much that we can do better at. Yeah. So we're just, we're just getting started. Don't sleep on us. It's just – don't sleep on us. You're right. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just the beginning. So, Phoebe, thank you so much for joining us today. Everyone watching, we hope to see you here. I'm going to try to turn around. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Good move you. Look at this. Look at this. 
we hope to see you here this Sunday at 6 p.m. Together, join us. Together is ready as well at 6 p.m. against Phoebe. Kansas City. Kansas City. Kansas City. Glad I got that right. Don't feel like that. <laughs> it's one A. Hey, we live one day at a time here. That's what we do. Yeah. That's what we do. All mm -hmm. right, so tickets are still available. Make sure you come out this beautiful stadium and spend the Sunday with us, Phoebe. Was good. Thanks for having me. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you Sunday. Go Pride. Go Pride. Thank you so much for, for joining us, Phoebe. Thanks, everyone who joined us. We'll hope to see you soon. Stay tuned to see who we're going to interview next. Who knows? Bye. Have a good day. Have a good, happy, yeah, happy weekend. It's Friday. Bye.